Sometimes you may hear about the new aircraft designs, new concepts and flying prototypes. And you may hear it not only from aviation news and aviation forums, you may hear it from the general media. And today we are going to talk about probably the most unique and unusual prototype, the Ottocelera 500L. I call it flying cucumber or egg with wings. Hello my friends and welcome, my name is Dennis, let's go! It happened in one of the average Californian airports then several years ago someone took few photos of this unknown aircraft and by saying unknown I mean that by that time no one knew what this aircraft was about so no information was provided to us by the designers so someone said that it is some kind of military toy and someone say that it wasn't and now we know that Celera is the product of auto aviation aircraft design company the company named after its frontman the William Otto who is the great aircraft designer he used to work in Los Alamos and for North American even though William Otto had a great experience in aviation, the Otto Aviation Design Company was introduced just in 2008 and Solera is the first project of this company. In 2020, this year, they introduced the Solera 500L to general public. It became a sensation and it was not about its funny or unique look it was about the presented flight characteristics of this airplane. Solera 500L is kind of small airplane and it's able to carry two pilots and six passengers with a speed of 400 knots. It's around 740 km an hour. It's not the record-breaking speed, but as for piston engine driven airplane, this speed is absolutely crazy. The declared range of this aircraft is even more astonishing. It is 4,500 nautical miles, which is 8,300 kilometers. It's the same distance from Toronto to Sao Paulo, Brazil. Crazy, isn't it? The Boeing 737NG, the commercial jet aircraft that I fly, is unable to fly that far as Celera. So for me it is quite a surrealistic picture to see these flight characteristics for Celera. Single engine piston aircraft to fly that fast and that long. It is like the top characteristics of top jet, the private jet airplanes like Falcon or Gulfstream. But it seems like I understand how this thing should fly that fast and that long. The key word here is laminar airflow. Bum, bum. How to explain you the laminar airflow? Well, you can compare it with the water flow. You may find it in your bathroom. You can open the water tap and you may check out whether your flow from your tap is turbulent or laminar. If the flow is very still, there is no any bubbles and nothing else, it means that the particles are going with the same speed, it means that the flow is laminar. If you have bubbles, etc. In, from your tap, it means that the flow is turbulent. You may find it also in the nature, for example, one river is very, with a very slow current, you may see that the water for that river will be very clean and the river with fast current you may see some of the sand particles and other particles from river floor so that water is turbulent, is going with a turbulent airflow I think you may spot the difference so everything with Celera was made to increase this laminar flow all over the fuselage and that is why they did this extended egg shape of the fuselage you may not find this type of looking airplanes in modern commercial aviation and for big airplanes this concept of laminar airflow is not 
possible because of the distance that the air needs to cover. The laminar airflow is possible only on small kind of surfaces. The wing on Celera was made also to increase the uh, laminar airflow and that is why you may see there are no any engines installed on that wing. The engine is mounted on the tail of the airplane making this airplane looking like some kind of submarine. So, because of the shape, the auto aviation claimed that they reduced the drag by 59% compared to the same size airplane. 59% is quite a lot. And that is why they were able to put just 550 horsepower, 550 horsepower piston engine. It's red R E D A03 which is already installed on some of the airplanes and even drones. They may put it here, they might have put it here, and also they have the air inlets, the huge air inlets on both of the sides here to increase the uh, cooling characteristics of the engine. And also the hot air from this engine goes to the propeller, decreasing the chances of getting icing on your blades. The bad thing here with this design of the fuselage is that the canopy is looking like this and I don't think that you can clearly see the ground in the front like on conventional airplane where you have this kind of cockpit, you have the canopy like this so you're able to see far away but here in this design you will not have this laminar airflow, you will have the the turbulent airflow ahead so that is why they did this kind of design the egg design <laughs> probably the best thing in this design is that it is quite wide over here in the fuselage it's six feet and two inches six feet and two inches of height which is 188 centimeters and that that is actually my height I'm at tall, as tall as that, it means that I can fit myself into the fuselage so it will be very comfortable for me to fly inside this small airplane. Six places but there is one more modification that should be for more that is able to carry uh, more than 10 people on board. It's still as a concept but hopefully we'll see it. My friends, why might this airplane be the game changer not only for VIP travels because of course this airplane may compete with private jets but also it may be the game changer for commercial travels for regular aviation. I'll tell you just right now because the claimed price for one hour service, for one hour flight of this airplane is just around 328 United States dollars. If you compare it with the private jet, the private jet is more than $2,000 per hour. So it may include the cost for your fuel, for the salary to the pilot, etc. So here we have this price for six people. It means that you need to pay a little bit more than 60 bucks, around 60 bucks for from one passenger. If you want to fly, if you want to be one of the six passengers on board, or if you want to fly alone, just pay this this price. That's quite low. Yes, I know that if you multiply 60 by 6, it will be 360 but you need also to pay extra fees for your landing and it will be as low, probably as low as 30 bucks in average airport and you don't need to travel to big airport with this thing, probably uh, it will have the good landing and takeoff characteristics. You may find uh, yourself flying to remote places, paying less money for your landings and takeoffs. So it is very and very efficient, but it doesn't mean that we'll see the replacement of bigger airplanes with these Celeros, because to replace the Boeing 737 capacity, you need 30 of those Celeros. And imagine those airplanes flying in huge airports of 
let's say Paris, Charles de Gaulle or Heathrow in London, the traffic, the airflow will be just jam as in traffic jam. So for big airports, we'll see the standard airplanes flying. But as I say to you, for secondary airports, it may be good option to spend less money for better comfort. My friends, I really enjoy the idea of this project. I really hope that they will fit with declared flight characteristics. It will be astonishing because there were many concepts and also flying aircraft with the same design that well that were not so successful and didn't make it into the aviation world. There is one similar aircraft, however, it's twin-engine turboprop, it's Piaggio 1TP180. It has nice characteristics, but they are much less than what were claimed to be on this aircraft. Uh, it's the, the flight tests are still ongoing and I would like to see the flight, the real flight test results, whether we are here to see the revolution in aviation or not. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of videos. I know you are awesome and that is why you need to follow the awesome guy checklist. First just like this video, then subscribe to my channel, ring the bell, whatever it means. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a great time!